Bjorn Fratangelo here at the U.S. Open. Let's talk about your year on the Challenger Tour. You have 33 match wins, which is tied for the most on tour this year. How does that help prepare you for a big match like today against Burdick? Um, I think it helps me a lot. You know, it prepared me for a, for a grueling one out there today. Um, I played a lot of matches this year, and, and you play a lot of matches, you win a lot of matches, you kind of have that winning feeling that, that stays with you, and you know how to close out sets, you know how to close out games, and, and winning isn't foreign, which I think is uh, huge for anybody. And I've always said, you know, winning breeds winning, and losing kind of breeds losing, and, and I think winning at a any sort of level is, uh, is a plus. You had your first challenger title this year in Launceston, plus two more finals. Um, what has been the difference for you this year? Yeah, I think just consistency alone. Um, you know, that, that's been huge. I've been healthy all year, which is, which is great. You know, I, the first half of last year, I had a stress fracture in my foot. And I missed kind of three to four months. And then when I came back, I wasn't kind of playing my best. I kind of forgot what I was doing well in, in, in the futures and kind of how I was rising. And my ranking slipped a lot. But, you know, I think I had a different mindset in the second half of last year and kind of pushed me into this year. So. I'm really happy with the way, uh, with how consistent I've been, and um, you know, hopefully, I can start doing this at the at the ATP level. How gratifying is this after all these years to finally be bursting onto the scene after all the hard work you're putting through? Oh, it's great. You know, this was a this was a dream come true to play here to play on grandstand. I think it's a it's a very intimate setting. The fans are kind of right behind you, and and I had the the crowd on my side today, which was awesome. Um, you know, I'm 22, and I think being a little bit older, I can kind of appreciate it more. And um, I kind of understand, you know, how much it means to me. It, I feel like uh, my pro career kind of started late, um, as opposed to some of these young guys coming up. So, so this is the, it was pretty sweet to play out there and to kind of go toe to toe with Bird to see where I was, and, and I'll take the positives from it and move forward. You played your first ATP World Tour match a few weeks ago in Cincinnati. Now, first Grand Slam match here at the U.S. Open. What's the biggest lesson you're learning or taking away from these moments? Oh, I think you know. Everyone's just a just a tennis player with a racket in their hand, you know. Nobody's uh, bigger than anybody else. Although you know those top guys are at a different level, but you know Cincinnati, I didn't handle the moment well. I had traveled one day before from Aptos, and there was a little scheduling mishap, and, and I just kind of didn't get my feet wet there. On top of it being my first night session in a Masters event, I just didn't handle the moment well. And, and I think today I enjoyed myself out there. I had fun. I was loose. Um, you know, I think I caught Burdish's attention a little bit there early, and, and you know, I think uh, it was a good test to see where I am. And finally, your goals for the rest of the year? Yeah, just uh, first of all, stay healthy. There's only a little bit of the year left, and keep progressing, keep staying consistent, keep doing well. My, you know, goal is to make Australian main draw, and I'm going to do that however I can, whether it be all challengers or if I feel like maybe I gain some momentum and try the the fall tour events in in Europe, but. Uh, However I'm going to do it, I just want to be in the main draw of Australia. So uh, that's, that's the goal. Thanks, Bjorn. All right, thank you, guys.